This is your crypto news in just a few minutes. Now, Bitcoin, it looks like it's going to go up again, in my opinion, and plenty of other people's opinions. Of course, not financial advice. But if we have a look, we go through stages of consolidation, and then up we go. This here is Jason's post. If this happens again, it will seem so obvious in hindsight, Bitcoin is rhyming. That is my belief here as well. But specifically, we have to look at this. 285 days has passed in 2024. If there is no Bitcoin bull market within the next 14 days, just Bitcoin going up, then this will mark the longest sideways ways in a halving year in history. When we say something like in history, it doesn't really matter because Bitcoin hasn't been going on for that many years, but still it's irrelevant to know that things should still be looking up. Of course, we're not just reading tea leaves. One other thing that we can read is the fact that the stablecoin total market cap, so the amount of stablecoins that are actually out there on exchanges ready to be deployed, that has increased as well. In just over a year, we were at 120 billion and now we're at $168 billion. But overall in the market, we do have some greenery, Sol's up 3% and Bitcoin is as well. We were fair for yesterday at 32 and now we're at neutral at 49 with the greed indicator. Now onto Masari. Bitcoin ETFs, they've seen $254 million as an inflow, which is good to see. The SEC delays Ethereum ETF options listing to December. Not good for Ethereum. This bit of news here is very important. So Gotbit, never heard of it, fine. But basically, they're one of four companies that are charged by the US government with market manipulation and wash trading, which of course will be everywhere in crypto, but these guys were caught. Nero apparently has a relationship which is now halted with Gotbit, emphasizing that the issues with Gotbit are not relevant to Nero. Crazily, Nero is up like 22%, which is nuts. But overall, I just want you to be aware that there's a huge amount of manipulation when it comes to meme coins. Now remember, this is not political news, but crypto news. Trump's crypto project World Liberty Financial sets token sale date. Now in the depths of the bear market, Trump did an NFT launch on Polygon and it was like a, an immediate 5x, 10x with some rare ones went for like $20,000. It was $100 to actually enter and grab one of these. Now, if we have a look at this, you can see that this is looking pretty juicy in terms of attracting more interest. Of course, I don't think they're going to ship anything amazing. It's never going to become the next Aave. It's never going to become the next Camino or Dupe. However, it's going to attract interest into crypto and you may want to go on KYC for this. If you're in the US, it's far harder. You have to be an accredited investor. If you're not in the US, it's far easier. In terms of buying the token, well, I haven't seen the tokenomics, but I imagine I'm just going to go on with like $1,000, nothing to degenerate. There is a Twitter space October 14th for more details about the token sale so we can tune into that as well. And if you want to use Masari, link is below. There's a discount code. It's not a referral. Solana spot DEX volume has increased incredibly, which is still one of the reasons why I think Solana is the best suited chain of this cycle. And if you want to get the Jupiter DAO newsletter, just go to vote.jupiter.ag and put in your email address. And for all those asking about active staking rewards, active staking rewards are not live. Updates on active staking rewards next week. So you just go to the website, click on notify me and put in your email and then subscribe. You can use any email you like. There are a couple of good earned bounties out there right now. How do you get into NFTs with Magic Eden? You can go and enter this. A lot of people here, so you've got to be good in order to win. And this, review Jupiter Mobile on the App Store. Few prizes here, 50 dupe, 500 dupe total price. Dbridge has put out a thread, understanding DBR's tokenomics. There's nothing crazy here. Obviously, it's a governance token, and this governance token will mean that ultimately we will be able to use this token in order to influence the protocol. One very important thing is to keep in mind that there's 18% of the total supply at launch circulating. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Bullish on the protocol, not bullish on the token. I don't see why the token's going to do incredibly well. And I have a new thesis on tokens, which I'll create coming soon. I did a live stream with Anis from Flash Trade. It's kind of long. It's pretty good though, but I'm probably going to do a little summary video. If you're interested, watch this and watch my summary video as well. Now over to the calendar. Have a look here. We've got Drift, DBR, pre-launch market, few other things that are very, very worthwhile. But if you want to, you can now pre-trade DBR, kind of, you can long or short it essentially on drift. Otherwise you can use Wales market. Now the actionables, if you're interested around flash trade, watch the video from NS. Also, stake your soul with validate.com DCA into soul. If you're bullish on soul, keep that DCA alive. Of course, nothing is ever financial advice. Review the Jupiter Mobile on App Store and submit on Super Team Earn for that bounty. Maybe you get 50 dupe. And if you're into NFTs early, do the Super Team Earn Magic Eden bounty as well. Airdrop actionables, nothing much here. Just provide liquidity into Jito Soul and Soul Meteor Pool in Camino. That's all your crypto news for today.